2008 i met elima <laughs> okay let's let's just before we meet elima has the transition from from centum to has it started being called centum not yet not yet yeah because that okay that not happened yet. okay so let's, that that happened in 2008 okay yes that like, so that let's time. let's first talk about the big one so you meet elima so uh I was studying for CFA. Um it was just around the exam time. And this friend of mine is like, "Hey, please come for the, for for this bash. You must come." So I said, "I can't make it. I'm I'm under so much pressure. Mm. I have not had time to to revise, you know." And he was like, "Man, just try even if it's to, to be the last person to show up. Just come. It's called Patrick." So I showed up somewhere in garden estate mm. uh, for me and uh i enter this compound and i find this table where people were serving juices and there was no one on the table because i was like the last guy it's 4 p.m. in the evening mm. so i go there i was a mummy in a bachelor man <laughs> things, were, things were tough so i need juice fast <laughs> Do you have your moti? Eh, hey, no moti by the way. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I had a eh? 2008. Yeah. No, I hadn't. I I was just in the process. Okay. So, eh uh, as I'm serving my juice, I see someone opposite. And I'm like, "Okay." I look, I lift up my head and I see this lady who was smiling and I said, "Hi, I'm Bias." And uh she says, I'm Helima. I'm like, wow, that's a beautiful name. I'm like, Allah. She walks, she takes her juice and walks away with a smile, of course. Mm. And I don't know, I just had this thought, this girl is 22 years old. There's no way I can even think about her. Mm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But somehow I had some thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I had some thoughts. I had some thoughts. What did I didn't know is that the whole reason why people wanted me to come to set you up because they thought Helima and I would make a very good couple. But now they didn't even get to introduce us. We met by ourselves naturally. <laughs> so they are watching from afar they're like Allah these this guys are already met. <laughs> <laughs> so did even Helima doesn't know that they're trying to hook you guys up. No, I don't think so. Uh-huh. So I said okay I pick my juice and I go and stand where there was a group of guys and I introduce myself and I meet other guys and like Allah where I stood that group is to I'm um, in that group we now we call ourselves chauffeur mm. that's where I met a guy called Dr. Wasuna mm. who was Helima's best friend mm. best friend's husband who still is Um and uh, I met a lady called Mumbi who is still a very good friend. I met um uh, uh, Alice Alice Mambua also still a very good friend and Patrick Mambua good friend. So mm. we we are standing and we are talking and and they're like hey what do you do and I'm like I do investment and like hey boss and you need to tell us about investment. We we spoke a little bit about it and like hey we need a, we need a real city. So I like we need to meet how do we how do we do this they say helima can coordinate with you i'm like <laughs> the same lady that i met there uh, now they're like you need to mm. so we exchange contacts with helima says how we'll talk during the week she started calling me now to plan for a, an investment <laughs> uh, meeting and mm. it was just not we, we couldn't settle on a date mm. but as we are talking we're getting to know each other yeah 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 and uh, i learned something that she 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 really knew the scriptures and that to me was a a an aha moment mm-hmm. there was no scripture i would say she would not finish mm. like hey, who is this <laughs> <laughs> I've never met anyone who is like this. So we ended up now you tuned out with scriptures. 
<laughs> for God's sake, love the one that he gave you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so that that was interesting because the common thing we had now was scriptures. Yes. And we agreed. Now this was I'm the one who's driving this. I'm like, why don't we challenge each other to memorizing scriptures? I need to I need to know scriptures. For real? Yes. So and she was like, I'm game. Say, where do you start? Someone. So she would go, she would memorize someone, I would memorize someone, and then we call each other out of the blues and say, someone. No way. When, you, when I when I say someone, she recites someone. When she calls me and she says someone, I recite someone. Uh, <laughs> hold on. You've not met again since that day. No, it was now. This is just the, phone, these calls. Are phone calls. These are phone calls. So this is this pre WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, 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 pre WhatsApp. Yeah, yes. And man, I started loving these scriptures. Before I used to read the Bible, but I didn't have the scriptures on my fingertips. But now I'm learning to get the scriptures in my heart. And this girl is really pushing, mm. and she's really motivating me. I'm like, wow. I was enjoying until I realized whenever I see a good scripture, I, whom do I think? Helima. I knew something is happening in my heart. <laughs> but that's crazy. Your lens. Remember what you're just telling us? Yes. This lens of yours. We yes. went to families through yes. God. Yes. So you would see scripture and you think of Helima. Yes. When you see a good scripture. Yes. That's so, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> so I like, I think something is changing in my heart so i was like hey, this is not how i wanted to start a relationship so i stopped scriptures i disappeared you bounced i bounced you know, so that means you're not answering her phone calls or what uh, now I, i'm avoiding this whole scripture thing because my heart is going because that's not how i had prayed to god as in in my view I was falling in love. Mm. <laughs> the, this, I needed a break. She was a great person, an amazing person, but I, this thing was Is now... It, it's, it's interfering with your life plans. It's in, interfering with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm trying to figure out why did, why, why did you run away? Why, why? I needed to think through. Oh, were you scared? I, no, I needed to be conscious. Oh, it caught you unaware, yes. the feeling. Yes. You're falling in love. You're like, hey, this wasn't part of my plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were supposed to do scriptures, <laughs> but this is going somewhere. And also, I felt it was also doing the same on the other side. Mm -hmm. And what if it doesn't end the way she would want it? Mm. You get, I would be misleading her. Mm. So I was like, okay, uh, let and me. And for the up. record, you've not seen each other again from no, that day. We, we just this we just talk on phone. Hey, okay, sir. So. It's just talk on phone. Uh, but now it's very intense. So I took a break. Even me, it was hard to take a break. Mm. It, I could tell even on her on the other side, it was hurting her. Because she couldn't explain why this person has just gone. A wall. A wall. Mm. A wall. Um, and I just enter into that kind of quiet season. And I'm on my own. Um, I was leaving. Where was I leaving then? I was living in South B. Mm. And this friend of mine calls me in uh, um, a, a guy we were in campus with. Mm. So she knew, the, he knew the, the, you remember the lady who took me to salvation? Yes, yes. <laughs> so he's like, Pius, how are you doing? How is your family? I'm like, my family? You mean my mom and my dad? They are okay. He's like, no, your wife and children. Hey. <laughs> now we're in 30, we're in our 30s. Oh, he's thinking you... You get, so I tell him, boss, me, I'm not married. Like, Paz, you are such an amazing guy. What are you doing still single? He was so in shock, he put the phone down. He thought that you were married to... Yes. Your ex. Yes. Because her, probably he saw photos, she's yeah. moved on, yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, he called me shortly after. Hey, Pais, you know what? I know someone that I would like you to meet. 
and I'm like, are you trying to set up a blind date? Uh, he said, yes. I said, I don't do blind dates. He's like, no, you just meet this person. He's a really nice person. With your personality, just try. So I said, oh, no, I can only meet someone on one condition. No expectation, just a friend. So we met uh, April 12th, 2009. So we met, I had zero expectation. I felt I was more pushed to do it, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to disappoint a friend. Mm. So we met, we had a, an amazing time. I'm like, wow, this is, a, this is an amazing person. The way, the way he saw it, it was true. Mm. Our personalities were very mm. Mm. Uh, compatible. So um, after that, now I have a car, I dropped her at their place. And then I started driving down Oyakiwe. Mm. I'm coming now to my house. And I'm in the car. And I'm like, God, I have never prayed to you for a wife. Is she the one? That was my question. Is she the one? You see how I, <laughs> I have a way of asking God questions. Yes. Out of nowhere, is she the one? Because it was a very interesting meeting, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I didn't promise her anything, uh, but I could see even her. She was like, hey, boss, this is, this is, there's a lot of potential here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I just asked God, is she the one? The following morning, I woke up. 13th of April, 2009, and I'm doing my devotion, and I just hear so loud in my spirit, she is not the one. <laughs> she is not the one. Let me tell you, up to now you've not heard me say God spoke to me. <laughs> I, I was not those guys who say God has spoken to me. But this question I asked God, he took it so seriously that he was literally speaking to me now. Mm. So, first of all, it's so powerful that you bothered to go to him and ask. Yes. Because you're saying the date went well. Yes. Everything went well. Yes. So if you didn't go back to this lens of God, the outcome could have been differently. From what you experienced, it was amazing. Anyway, for six months, this lady would try to call me I will not be available. I will try to return her calls. She will not be available. What? Six months. From the date, From six the date. months it was tag, 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 foo. Yeah. Ta phone tag. We never, no, no, no phone call ever went through. Man. Hold on. Six months. Let me go back. Six months. <laughs> two weeks. One, even two weeks is too much. <laughs> Three days I'd understand. Six months. Hey, okay. So I knew this is true. But I, I, I had the answer. She's not the one. But this proved to me. So I never really tried to push it. Mm. You know? um, and Helima, nothing. So now, <laughs> the same day God tells me she's not the one. God just gave me a revelation of how I'll receive my wife, how I will know who is my wife. Mm. That was a crazy thing because I was writing and I did not know where it was coming from. Mm. I wrote, it's, a, it's all in my journals. I wrote and wrote and wrote. I'm like, what? God, this is, this is how I'll know who I will marry. Uh, uh, that was April, that's why I can remember the date, April 13th, 2009. The first thing that, uh, the first sign God gave me, it was fulfilled that evening in Helima's house. And I came back in disbelief and I wrote on my journal, God, this can't be true, it is a coincidence. Hold on, okay. What do you mean it happened in Helima's house? It, it happened in Helima's house. There's something God said. I'll, the, I'll reveal. Yes. I'll yes. reveal to you. There's something you. There's someone. You, there's someone you'll ask something to do something for you, and she will go over and above. Mm, mm. 
it happened in Helima's house. Okay. That evening. So that was my first time. But but that means you remember you know why you've left us in this yes. epic story. Yeah, the six months. <laughs> you've left us where Helima yes. I understand the six months with this yes. new person. No, you've had a quiet period with Helima. Yeah, so Helima you've in fact been lingering. Yes. Because of uh you didn't want we're to we're still friends by oh, the way. Oh, but you're still friends. We're still friends. But you're not doing the scripture even, thing. We're not doing scripture. The only uh-huh, thing we're doing is scripture okay, thing. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, we, we used to meet somewhere in my house. We used to do um every f- last Friday of the month. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of young guys coming to our house. My house where I was living. Mm-hmm. And we would catch her singing, praying. Oh, Helima with other 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 people. And so Helima was one of them. Okay, okay, okay. All of us, you know. And when you'd see her, would those feelings return? And first of all, now I know Helima is such a woman of God. Mm. You know. And for me, part of the my caution was I did not want to do something rushed mm-hmm. that would destroy both her life and my life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it was out of abundance of caution. Eh? Mm-hmm. But the feelings, uh, did they go? No, I mean, I Or still, you suppressed them? I've suppressed them. I've supp- and it was very clear that was God's way of doing it. Okay. Um we we just I just we just need to not to get involved in anything. I get it. I get it. Okay. And I understand now when I when I looked back God wanted it to be from him mm-hmm. not from us. Okay. Makes sense. So anyway. Uh so a number of things God did so many things from that day of 13th of April. Mm-hmm. It was one thing after another after another after another after another. That is confirming to you that Helima is the one. But you're not communicating to her. Eh? No. You just took a cash fact, with one eye open. In <laughs> fact, I'm like God, Queenie, what kind of prayer does this girl play, be, pray because this is unbelievable. Mhm. Mhm. I remember there was one time I went uh we were invited to some for a fellowship somewhere in Westlands and um we in this house so many people were seated in the sitting room and there's this man of God who is um who is preaching mm-hmm. in the middle and he says a young man stand up and he says God says the one in your mind is the one. The one you've been thinking <laughs> is the one. <laughs> I mean it was crazy. It was so crazy. There was one again um the same man of God said um his called Reverend John Taylor. Mm. He said um tonight God says tonight he will make it very clear, crystal clear who she who she is. He's telling you this in front of everyone. In front of everyone. Tonight, not any other night tonight. In fact, everybody say saying tonight. Hey, was it tonight? Everyone just tonight. Someone see me say tonight. 